guys welcome back to my channel thank you all for being here with me today i'm going to show you how to make guyanese style salara or red cake some may call it coconut roll so let's get started here i have some all-purpose flour i'll be using freshly grated coconut i'll be using coconut milk as well feel free to use regular whole milk if you like i have brown and white sugar some red food coloring yeast some more sugar melted butter ginger vanilla extract cinnamon nutmeg and some allspice now let's prepare the mixture we'll be adding to the flour to the warm coconut milk i will add the melted butter two tablespoons of sugar and the yeast i'm using fast rice active yeast but if you're using regular yeast you can allow it to proof for about 10 minutes next you want to add the mixture to your flour and mix to form a nice soft dough now different types of flour absorbs differently depending on the brand so you might want to have a little bit flour at hand in case you need a little more but do not add too much flour so you change the texture of the dough Once the dough is formed, you want to grease your surface with some oil as well as your hands and we will lay the dough onto the floured surface and knead into a smooth ball. Now I like using oil instead of flour because the oil helps to prevent the dough from being sticky without changing the texture. And that's exactly what you want. You want your dough to be perfect and that will give you the best red cake or salara as we may call it so now you want to place your dough into a greased bowl cover it and allow it to rise for about one hour while the dough is rising let's prepare the filling to a bowl i will add my coconut as well as the spices you will add the sugar as well as the vanilla and the ginger we will go in there and just mix the combine. I like using my bare hands because I get to feel around and you know, this is just the best tool in the kitchen as opposed to using a spoon or a spatula, but feel free to use whatever you like. Once we already combine these ingredients, we'll go ahead and start coloring it with our red food coloring. Now the coloring, there's no measurements because you can color this to suit your own preference. Color it and when it reaches your desired red, you will stop right there. Once we're done, we'll cover this and set it aside. Now, if you want, you can cook this on the stove top, but I don't like to do that because I find that it's an extra unnecessary step we do out of tradition. I've tried it both ways and I could not tell the difference. So after about one hour, the dough has doubled in size and this is the point where you want to actually flour your surface because we don't need the dough stick in there when we are ready to assemble our salara. So we'll lay the dough down there and then you want to, you know, just roll it out into your desired thinness, however thin or thick you want it. Go ahead and do just that. So I will roll this out and then I'll show you all the next step. So once the dough is all rolled out, next we will add our coconut filling and you just want to cover the surface of the dough, leaving just the edges uh, without the filling because you know you have to like pinch the edges together and you don't want the filling getting in the way. So you will just do as I'm doing right here and then we'll go ahead and just roll it up into a log. So once you got it all rolled up into a log, you want to go ahead and pinch and seal the edges really tight. This will prevent the coconut filling from seeping out. You know, when the sugar melts, sometimes it can seep out and make a big mess. So to avoid that, you want to make sure that you seal the edges really tight. Then we will place this onto our baking tray, cover it and allow it to rise again for about 30 minutes. 
After 30 minutes, we will place this into a 355 degree oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. Once it becomes nice and golden brown, this is how it should be looking absolutely perfect now some people may put a glaze over here with sugar and water but i prefer to add some melted butter now this is already sweet and you don't want to get diabetes so a little bit of butter is just fine for me once we're done you want to lay it onto your wire rack and allow it to cool down completely before we see what it looks like on the inside And the moment we've all been waiting for, you just want to get a nice bread knife and slice into your red cake or salara. And this is what we have. Perfect, perfect. It was so soft, juicy on the inside and absolutely delicious. It brought back a lot of memories. And I hope you guys give this recipe a try. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it and leave a comment down below. I will leave all my ingredients down in the description box and I'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your support and enjoy.